What's going on, viewers from the internet? I'm Variety Gamer 95 back for some more Terraway Unfolded. So let's take a look here. Last time we played through the Wasail Orchard to save the Wasail Festival, I think it was called. I don't remember exactly. So this time we're going to move on to Maple Fields and find a way to reach Gibbet Hill. Ah, Maple Fields. Maple Fields. Kind of sounds like Maple. What do you have to say, sir? Something to get off your chest. My eyes! Those squirrels are always up to some mischief. Now they've stolen my eyes. How will I see now? Right, so. You have to purchase them. You can flip them. Let's give them these eyes, okay? So. Let's purchase this. Right, I, you can actually adjust them using the uh, control using a controller. Done. It's a miracle. I have eyes again, and they're new. Who did you steal these from? Oh, who cares? I can see. Really accuse me of thievery, man. Messenger is innocent. You must possess powerful squirrel magic to do that. Maybe you'd like to ch change something else about me? Nah, you have to use the left stick for some reason, not the D-pad. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Um, We can just hop this, yeah. So I was saying before that uh, this game's just beautiful. I mean, look at it. Just everything's made out of construction paper. All these little details about the mystery. Like, he has blush stickers. I thought only the female messenger did, but no, apparently the male one does as well. But I have to say, and I gotta be honest, I'm not the only one who feels this way for sure. Yet I feel I'm I think I'm the only one who feels so strongly about it. Graphics are really not a deal breaker for me when it comes to getting video games. I'm dead serious. Like even with the uh, new game systems coming out. Oh, hold on a sec. There is a lot to do and find in our world. If you want to know how your adventure is going, just open the menu by pressing the Options button. So, um, even with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X coming out, I'm looking forward to both game systems for different reasons. Like, backward compatibility is my biggest excitement for the Xbox. These fields used to be alive with butterflies. They are the spirits of our ancestors, but they no longer flutter among us. So, we have to make a butterfly. Make a right butterfly wing. Um, I pressed down. Uh, let's make it orange, sure. Something like that. Ah, see, now we have the ability to cut. So, uh... We can cut. Use left stick to... Okay, I guess that's as good as it's gonna get. The butterflies have returned. Our past hasn't forsaken us after all. I think that one's my granddad. So back to what I was saying before, I'm looking forward to the Xbox Series X most because of backward compatibility. I mean, the backlog is huge. There are some games that I'm really hoping I'll be able to play, like Super Monkey Ball Deluxe is a good example. I'm never going to get to finish my piece, am I? Oh, it breaks your heart! Look at him! Once a great warrior, now just a sad pig! I don't know, he looks like he could be useful. Something happened to him out there. He's lost the appetite for war. A lone wounded hog, too proud to go back home. Okay. It's not pride. Ever since those creatures fell from the sky and attacked me, I haven't been able to fight. It's my left eye. It's so swollen I can't see properly. But who could possibly help a washed up old ham? Alright, so all we have to do... We can make it bigger. That should be good enough. By the green man's beard, he has the most fierce look in his eye! You can see the first for vengeance. I pity his enemies. Those critters missed the wrong pig. They'll pay for this. Hop on my back and we can ride together as a glorious battle. The hunt is on. 
So we have to ride the pig. I believe we can press square to do something. No, none of the buttons do anything. We just ride. So yeah, graphics not a big deal deal breaker for me when it comes to games. Like I know I'm playing a PS4 game right now, but I grew up with Nintendo, so I remain a strong loyal Nintendo fan even despite graphics being being a top priority in the eyes of millions. My buddy who I was talking to earlier, the last part, I had a discussion with him about the Switch version of Trials Rising, how that runs at 30 frames per second. I told him that I didn't think that was really a big deal, and my buddy actually agreed with me. He said that uh, it really wasn't a big deal to him either. So yes, I remain an Nintendo fan. I am playing a PS4 game right now. In fact, I chose to let's play Turbo Unfolded now because I thought that the DualSense would be would control PS4 games. But then I find out that's not the case at all. Okay, so now we can use the Guiding Light. Yes, I actually went out and bought a few DualShock 4 controllers. Because the vast majority of my multiplayer indie library is on my Switch. But I do have a handful of multiplayer games on my PS4. I probably could have taken a picture of that, but whatever. It's not like I need to, to complete the game. Yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to the new game systems for different reasons. Like, I told you guys before that I signed up for PS Plus just so I could back up this game's old save data. So I could start restart with the Mail Messenger. Because, uh... Can I actually access that now? Sure. Okay, so you are actually able to, uh restart the game with the other messenger. They call that re-deliverance. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to play through the let's play the game with the mail messenger, so that's why I signed up for PS Plus. Oh, that's why I did that. Okay. Because honestly, I don't have a reason to uh, keep PS Plus not beyond the years that I subscribe to. I can only subscribe to four years of PS Plus because I was on furlough for a while and I got tons of money and unemployment benefits. Same thing with Xbox Live Gold, but I have more reason to keep that because there's at least one game that I actually enjoy playing on Xbox One. That's Forza Horizon 4. If only because I actually enjoy one of that game's online modes. This isn't Forza Horizon 4 though, this is uh, Terribly Unfolded. Let's see here. But yeah, the console wars, they've been a uh, pretty big pretty, pretty big topic at the time of recording this. I, it's been so big, I actually managed to come up with an acronym for it. I call it Crocs. Yes, those types of Crocs. It stands for Crazy Rage of Console Specs, because no one can agree on what system is best. And it's always PlayStation versus Xbox. Everybody just rules out Nintendo, even though they've been producing video games for a bit long, quite a bit longer than both Sony and Microsoft have. Are you the one our orchard friends speak of? The one traveling to give it hell to mend the hole in the sky? Beware the crows, then. They'll pick you full of holes and carry your soul to the clouds. Oh, looks like there's a place for crows in this story after all. Most people take a shelter in Grocer's Barn. Go there and you will find the help you need. So people have been complaining about Switch Online as well. I think a big part of that, it, uh, which is uh, everyone not seeing the classic games that they want, I think a big part of that is because they didn't buy Wii U. Like, literal millions of people haven't. So most of the complaints about Switch Online don't apply to my particular circumstances because I have one good buddy who plays video games, sure. But even then, he doesn't have too many games on his Switch. He has an all-physical library, but it's really not that many. I don't want to say it's not impressive or anything, but... Uh, sorry, buddy. Your Switch collection's kind of not that impressive. I mean, he actually once asked my help to uh, blow money on I indie think games. It's about time we saw what these crafty crows are truly capable of. Favoring. Ooh, let's see where this takes us. Of course, because crows love shiny objects, right? What do you have to say, lady? 
No! The key! One of the curse has stolen it! How long into Gerser's barn to hide with the others now? I don't know, throw something at it maybe. It flew that way, towards Sace with his moor. You must help. Bring the key back to me, we can hide inside and we'll both be pecked to pieces. Good luck, and don't let this crow steal your soul. So as I was saying before, my buddy uh, at once asked for my help to blow money on some indie games, but I honestly didn't know what to tell him. I have a lot of multiplayer indie games on the Switch, but that's more so in case I ever have a big group to play those games with. But he's just one friend of mine, and we only met up in February of 2020. We met back up in February of 2020. Notice in sophomore year of high school, but he was two grades ahead of me, so we couldn't hang out much back then. So I don't have too many friends to play video games, that's why I don't care about voice chat. People are just cruel playing online, though. Like, they show no mercy. I grew up with Nintendo, like I said. I have yet to play any PlayStation game online. At least any paid PlayStation game. Whereas I have at least one Xbox game that I play online. So I have more reason to keep Xbox Live Gold. That's probably a very controversial opinion, but... I will admit, the price is a bit off-putting. Like, they're $60 each. I've never seen windstorms like these. They come from the world beyond, where the spirits live. They must be angry with us. Maybe you made them angry, and now they sent the girls to punish us and steal our souls. What, you mean me? Yes, but... I wonder why the messenger's not affected by the wind. Yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't see a reason to keep PlayStation Plus beyond the four years that I currently have. I live in California, so before anybody asks if I'm worried about the cards expiring, uh, no. Apparently, uh, gift cards do not expire in California, so that's not an issue for me. That's not a concern. That's how I'm able to uh, <laughs> straight up sign up for four years of PS Plus and Xbox Live Gold. But like I said, that was only because of my furlough you know, a while back, at least at the time that I'm recording this. So St. Swithin's Moor is where we're at now. So, crows are now a force to be reckoned with. Without my help, these moors will be impossible. Those windy birds will send you tumbling through the bracken. But what if the you? could fill the sky with gales, and ripple the ground with zephyrs. Yes, that would help you beat a path. But stormy winds need stormy clouds. You don't say. Let's make a cloud, yes. I'll try my best. This is really not the best surface to uh, draw on. Actually, I think I got it just about perfect, yes. That actually looks great! Wow! I drew a perfect cloud! Let's go ahead and send it to the game world. Yes. Ooh. Now blow, breeze, and blast. So the PS Vita has a microphone, but we don't use the microphone of the DualShock 4 controller. To use the changing wind, just stroke the touchpad the direction you want the wind to go. Try it now, swipe upwards with the touchpad to scare off the crows. That's the key to the grocer's barn. You have to get it back. There's nowhere else to hide. Follow those crows. Meanwhile, I'm still holding this acorn that I found back there. So we have the ability to use the changing winds by uh, swiping the touchpad. Uh, okay, there it goes. That's what I thought was supposed to happen. Uh, how do we get over there? Oh, right, I remember. So there's the, uh, there's the key. But we have to chase after the crow. Alright, so use the guide use the guiding wind to open a path. You can actually uh, undo it as well. By going in the opposite direction. The guided winds can be used at any time. All you have to do is just swipe the touchpad, so let's 
Huh, I wonder how those guys are hanging upside down. Okay. Don't mind me, I'm just carrying this acorn through for no apparent reason at all. Okay, so... Here to go the other way. There's a present down there. I don't think I want to... Oh, okay. So I can actually open this present without falling. Use the touchpad to open up the present. If you want to go for 100% completion, you really need to have a good eye. Oh, I guess that wasn't necessary after all. Okay. Use the guiding wind again. Go up to the crow to scare it off. Um, hold on. Yeah, use the guiding wind to get rid of the grass. We can open that present, but we still have to chase after the crow. Can I get up here, please? Thank you. Let's open this. It's a trap! Oh no! Scraps. Where do they come from? Nothing to do with me. It's those crows. I told you they were cuddly. Fascinating. The messenger and their you are not the only ones working together now. Scraps have to jump through the air when they're attacking. Use the change of wind to knock them out of the air. Right? So... Come after me, bro. There you go. Just like that. Okay, I still have the acorn. Anyway, yes, that's what's supposed to happen when uh, you take damage. The stamp is up there. If you're wondering why the stamp is gold, it's because I actually originally had this game physically when it first came out. Or I got it for Christmas, rather. Christmas 2015. And the uh, physical version, actually, screw it. Uh, it's actually not going to let me use the guiding light. Wow. You have to do it the game's way. So I had the game physically originally. But I got it for Christmas 2015, and it came with the download code to get the golden stamp and a couple of other things. It's just a cosmetic change, though. It's really nothing special. But you know what? I don't even know what, what color the stamp's supposed to be normally. I don't have the PS Vita version anymore because this is a remake of that game. Okay. So... The crow's taking us to their fort, apparently. We go use the change of wind to scare it off. Alright, we need to use the changing wind to, yep. Or maybe that was automatic, I don't remember. Ooh. So we actually have the power to change these ourselves. Just like so. We actually can't use the guiding light, wow. I believe where we want to go is this direction. Alright, screw you guys, I'm getting out of here. Let's scare off the crow again. Oh, that's cheap! Come on, you hit me in the cutscene! Alright. You have to avoid getting hit for a few seconds while the stamp is on the screen. At least that actually plays a sound. They could have just made it so that it only flies to the top of the screen. Thankfully, that's not the case. Alright, so... I believe we wanna... Yes, move this. Oh, I remember this. Hold on. We have to get on top of the barrel. And move it that way. Okay, that was lucky. Wow. I did not press the cross button. I swear to you I didn't press that. Okay, so let me see here. Ah, here we go. Oh, we're really storming their fortress, huh? And what's up with these chest pieces? See, that has a hole in it. Oh, come on, you ass. Get out of here! Let me see. Ah, oh, I remember this. Use the guiding wind down. Use it down again. Okay. 
Okay, that's not where I want to go, apparently. I actually uh, used to be really into chess back when I was in 8th grade. I remember uh, teaching my dad about chess when I was in 8th grade as well. There was this website called uh, Chess Kids Academy, and that was how I managed to learn all about the game and how it's played. Oh, I remember this. Hold on. There we go. So yes, I learned how to play chess. I think it was through an issue of, funny enough, Nickelodeon Magazine. That was how I first heard of chess, where there was a page with uh, Patrick Starr, and they actually talked about all the different pieces of chess. You could actually cut it out, you could play the game, and that was when I really got into playing it. That was I didn't even remember how I found out about Chess Kids Academy. It was actually a quite an interesting website. It really did teach kids how to play the game. I did have fun, don't get me wrong, my dad and I played chess a lot when I was in 8th grade. He, remember he got me a little chess board as well. In fact, I still have that thing, I may be able to provide a picture of it. Well, I don't have the guiding light, so I have to do it the game's way. You're stunned, you're stunned, get rid of you. Okay, come on. Where are you? Are you serious? Are you serious? Come here, you ass! Why are you not targeting me? There we go. Okay, okay. You're stunned. Grab it. Shove off. I'm so sorry. I was too distracted by the companion ad to help you out there. It's so much fun. One you can play with another you. One you can play while another you can change the world around them. Okay, even if I did have the companion app, I don't have a way of showing it off. I might be able to. I don't know. I don't know if I'm really all that interested in uh, showing it off, though. I'll think about it. Okay, so... I think the wind is going to periodically blow. Yes. I have no idea how it did that, but I'll take it for sure. I have no idea how it did that either. Wow, that was lucky. That was very lucky. Okay. I'm stubborn. I'll just brute force my way through everything. Ah. Oh, I mean, I'm practically there. I think. Yes, I am. I'm right there. See what I mean by forgiving checkpoints? The game practically dumps you off wherever you were if you die. You know what? Let's see here. There we go. Alright, so uh, this house. There's actually a character called the Misplaced Gopher. Hello there, I'm about adventuring. Back later, Misplaced Gopher. You have to, uh, if you come across a misplaced gopher, you have to deliver her to her house without losing your stamp. If you're going for 100% completion, you have to do all of them. Alright, let's go into this house that we just tore open. Alright. Let's go ahead and climb the stairs, which don't look like stairs at all, by the way. Alright, let's go up here. Hey, let's talk to you, lady. What do you have to say? You're trying to reach the crows? Not unless you grow wings. A mighty gust of wind blew the pathway so no one can get across. Wait, I was struck by inspiration. Stand in there and hang on. We'll wait for a gust of wind to fill the sail. You mean this gust of wind? Alright, that was, uh, that was convenient. Alright, there's the key. That crow is taunting us! If only we could knock him off his perch and wipe that smirk off his beak! Oh, that looks like quite a hefty rock! Try throwing that! Let's see him hold on to the key then!
Man, that was quite the throw for such a little guy. That heavy ass rock. By the power of Throw Forth, the rock is now your controller. To throw it back to the world, aim at the aim the side of the curve, swipe over to the touchpad. Shoom! Just like that. The crows have hidden the key in the tree. You will need to use the third fourth to throw squirrels to the tree to find it. Alright, so hold the controller upward and press, then press square. There you go. Alright. Aim with the cracks of the tree, throw the squirrel. Nuts! No key here! Try throwing the squirrel friends keep looking for cracks of the tree. Alright, we can throw just about anything into the controller by grabbing something, holding the controller up, and tossing it at the screen. Aim the reticle to uh, aim the reticle to uh, find where we want to throw. I don't know, something like that. Right? Hold the controller up. Let's see. Toss it right here. There it is. I found it. The curves has matched it up. It won't open anything anymore. Ayota. Do not mourn the loss of a key. Such trinkets are not needed when you have a friend as powerful as the you, you, you what? You must be joking. Wind's no use against those crows. Yes, yes. But now, the you can blast away inside the barn and find something that scares away those crows once and for all. Well, if that's your plan, you'd better hurry up. Those crows are in a right flap. You know what they say? There's nothing worse than an angry <laughs> crow! Oh! Well, that was kind of your fault for disguising yourself as an acorn there, buddy. Alright, so we can get a move on. I guess we don't need the key anymore then, huh? Oh, come on, what are you guys, vultures? Messenger ain't dead. They're well alive. Okay. So there's the checkpoint. I believe we're actually moving on to the next area as well. Let me see. It'll tell me in a little bit. So this uh, target here. Try tossing that apple at it. There we go. Gonna need to do this quite a few more times though. Uh, that was not what I meant to do. That was a pretty good catch. Come on. No, I guess it has to be an apple. All right. Toss the apple into the screen. Right there. There we go. Let's get a move on. Oh, what do you have to say, lady? If I can get up there. Talk to me. Oh, I thought it would be swept into the hole in the sky. That's where this drought is coming from. Or that's where this drought is coming from. You're not the one left it open, are you? Oh, come on. It's only a little wind. No need to be freaked out. Alright, so we have to go back to where we started. Alright, we're back at Maypole Fields. Alright. You know what? I think that was actually another area that I played through. Yeah, it was. Well, let's consider it a bonus. Alright. Let's call it quits. So we have to head for Grocer's Barn now. Next time a terrorway unfolded, we're going to head back to Grocer's Barn and see what we could do about those crows. See you then.